I remember years ago when my father actually, who was a butcher, master butcher himself, used to cut rump steaks on the bone. They thought at the time was the best way of actually selling meat. Well, since I've been with Peter Allen, our thought now was towards continental buttery, seam buttery. And what we actually do is get the rump, once it's been matured on the bone, we actually take it off the bone and then we break it down into individual muscles. Now, on a rump, there's in the region of about eight different muscles in one rump. Well, what happens with the English butchers, what they're doing, they're cutting straight across all the muscles and you're cooking three or four muscles in one go, which does not suit the meat. So what we're actually doing is breaking the muscles down into individual muscles, so one wants less cooking than the other. And also there's a membrane, which is a gristle, in between each one that keeps them separated. We take that actually out and you've got no gristle inside your steak, which makes the steak again a lot better to eat. The first one we'll take off is the rump tail. A rump tail actually does not want to be done as a rump steak. That either wants to be cooked as a whole piece, braised, or it can be roasted. Or it can be cut into parves, which that's the actual tail. The second one we'll take out is called a spider steak. The spider steak lays on the top, which is a very thin slice of meat with a heavy piece of gristle underneath it. We take that off. That normally weighs about five ounces in weight. If that is cooked quite rare, that is a very tender piece of meat. The third one we'll take off is a rump cap, which is actually the, it sits on top of the rump. That's why it's called a cap. Again, this has got a big membrane between that and its next muscle. And this has got to come off. And the trouble with this cut, the English boy is actually cut with the grain instead of against it. So you've got to turn it around and cut the opposite direction. This is a very soft steak, which has got a hell of a flavour. The fourth one we'll take off is a single muscle, which we call a single muscle rump, which is actually taken off on the bottom. This does not have any fat on at all. Once it's trimmed round and it's done into all its pieces. This does look very similar to a fillet of beef, though it's not, but it does resemble a fillet of beef. Now, cooking this whole and left nice and pink and rested is another really good steak. I call it a lady steak because it looks very sexy on a plate. So it's a nice, nice actual piece of meat for a lady who doesn't want to chew meat or have any fat around it. The next one we take off, we either use it two ways. We either make that into a rump joint with no gristle. So instead of using strip loins, a lot of customers now will use this as a joint. So they'll have a rump joint. Also, we'll make French trimmed uh, rump steaks out of it, which is gristle free again with a nice fat covering all the way around it. And they're the major cuts we do out of a rump now. When we do a rump, we will lose, doing our method, we will lose a third of it in waste, which is actually trim that's come off that's not very eatable. That's why rump steak's got a bad name in this country, because the normal butchers leave all that on to try and keep the price down, which does not leave, make it good for eating steak.